I'm Scott Lucas. This is today's EA Worldview on Syria. It's the U.S., not Tehran, that holds the key to a nuclear deal. Headlines in the Western media this morning, from Al Monitor to the Wall Street Journal, are proclaiming that Iran has made concessions in advance of next week's talks with the 5 plus 1 powers in Geneva. They say that Iran has offered to limit its enrichment and in exchange, Washington could possibly begin to lift sanctions. The stories are flawed for two reasons. First, this is not new. This is the same offer that Tehran made in June 2012. Specifically, it will limit enrichment to 5%, giving up the higher level of 20% enrichment in exchange for, first, recognition of its right to have a uranium enrichment program, and second, a lifting of the major U.S. and European sanctions. There is also Tehran's insistence that it be guaranteed a supply of 20% uranium for civilian use. So these aren't concessions. This is a restatement of Tehran's position. But second, and more importantly, it's not Iran that holds the key to an agreement, the first steps of which could be taken next week in Geneva. It's the United States. Let's be clear here. The United States demand in the summer of 2012 was that Iran give up all uranium enrichment, that it stop completely, at least for the medium term. It closed its planet for due, it limited its planet into tons, and that then and only then would the United States consider, after Iran had shipped out its 20% uranium, a lifting of sanctions. In the next 15 months, the United States has not really budged from that position. And in the next 15 months, it has continued to pile more and more sanctions on Iran, including four sets of economic restrictions in June. So the question is now, does the United States finally begin to negotiate? What it means is, first, that the United States will have to recognize Tehran has a right to a nuclear program. Anything less than the talks are a non-starter. Second, the U.S. will have to make a commitment that serious lifting of sanctions, not just a token lifting of restrictions on airplane parts, is on the table. In other words, it is Washington that has the possibility of advancing these talks, but it is Washington that can also effectively say, we're holding our line, and therefore the discussions next week are no more than a formality which quickly run into stalemate. It's not just me who recognizes this. So do European diplomats. Over the last few months, there has been a trend amongst diplomats in Britain, in Germany, and France, which is that the United States cannot continue to insist that Iran make unilateral concessions and then and only then begin to discuss. So the signals, in fact, over the last 48 hours have been from European diplomats who say, we're discussing the possibility of a deal. There is an opening. Now, you and I can debate, and no doubt we'll do so in following weeks, whether the Obama administration is restricted by Congress, whether it's held back by public opinion, indeed, whether it's still concerned about the reaction from Israel. But for the moment, put that debate to the side, and let's be clear. It is the United States, not the Iran, that holds the key to make or break at the nuclear talks in Geneva next week. I'm Scott Lucas. This has been today's EA Worldview on Iran.